Welcome to your 3D Wednesday Word. I'm Lacey Webster. And this week, I don't know about you guys, but this week's been a crazy week. I love the rains. This is probably my favorite week ever. But anytime it rains, as much as it has been, I don't know about you, but has anybody you know gotten stuck in the mud this week? Has anybody gotten flooded in their home this week? My barn is flooded, and I feel like Noah with all these animals in the ark. I got all these animals in my barn, and the barn's flooding, and it's just so much rain and so much to keep up with and so much going on in life. And sometimes we can feel like this bowl of water here. We can feel like we're drowning, like there's so many things going on in the world that just are heavy and are intense, like a flood, like rain. And I'm gonna show you an object lesson to remind us what God's word tells us. And anytime it rains and floods, I don't know about you, but it reminds me of a story in the Bible. Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? That's right, the story of Noah. So today, after our object lesson, I'm gonna to read to you the story of Noah. So. Just like I was talking about the flood, the rain, the water, the storm, maybe the difficult season that we're in right now, having to be home with this virus going around, we can feel like we're kind of stuck, like water in this bowl. But as Christians, as children of God, we know that God is protecting us. He's like a glass. He can protect us. He can keep us safe inside from all the storms that this world will face and that we will face. So this glass is gonna resemble the Holy Spirit and God, and this bowl is gonna represent sin and the world, and the world has troubles and trials and tough times that we as Christians are promised to face. Just like Noah faced a huge flood, we are facing the coronavirus right now. We're facing a week of rain, and we don't even know what this week of rain is going to bring, but we know that as children of God, I am a child of God, we are placed with faith, with trust, with hope in Jesus, in the power of the Holy Spirit. We place our hope, our faith, our trust in God, and we know as children of God that God will protect us, that he will keep us safe. He'll keep us safe from the enemy. He'll keep us safe from sin. He'll keep us safe from floods, just like Noah and his family were safe. And he'll keep us safe from the coronavirus. He'll keep us safe from the rains this week. Anything that's going on in your life, nothing is too big for God to handle. You can come out just like us as children of God in a trial, in a storm, underwater, feeling like we're drowning, feeling like this season is lasting so, so long, we can come out with confidence, knowing that with God, the world cannot touch us. Sin cannot harm us. The floods will not have us go under because we are children of God. And we are equipped with God's word. <laughs> I wrote our scripture on the back because as children of God, we need to have God's word coming out of our mouths, in our minds, in our hearts, and we have to read the Bible in order to equip us to be a child of God, to be surrounded by the protection of the Holy Spirit, surrounded by God's love, to protect us against all attacks of the enemy, anything that can come our way. So our Bible verse is found in 1 Peter. It's 1 Peter verses 5 and 6. I'm going to read to you today. And through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive this salvation, which is ready to be revealed on the last day for all to see. So be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure trials for a little while. I know this virus seems like it's lasting forever, and it might last a very long time. Just like Noah and his family must have felt when it was flooding and the, the waters were taking over the earth, they felt like they were trapped inside this boat for so, so long. 
but good news is coming. So let's read the story of Noah and be encouraged today by God's word. If you guys want to follow along and read the story of Noah, it's found in Genesis chapter 6 through 9, and it tells us, one day God looked at all the people on earth and saw that they were choosing to sin. Every person's thoughts were evil, and God was sad that he made people. God wanted people to have a relationship with him, but the people did not want to know God or obey him. God had to punish the people for their sin. But God showed favor to a man named Noah. Noah was a descendant of Adam and Eve's son, Seth. And Noah was a righteous man. He followed God. God warned Noah that a flood was coming to destroy all the creatures on the earth. He told Noah to make an ark to save himself and his family and some of the animals. God told Noah exactly how to make the ark. God told Noah to put a door in the side of the ark and build three decks inside, a lower deck, a middle deck, and an upper deck. God said that he would make an agreement or a covenant with Noah and his family. Noah did everything that God commanded him. When the ark was finished, God told Noah to go inside with his family and the animals. God said that the rain was coming and the rain would not stop for 40 days and 40 nights. Noah did what God said and God shut the door of the ark. The floodwaters covered the earth and the ark floated on top of the water. The water rose higher and higher and higher until all the mountains were covered. Every living thing on the earth died. Only Noah and those who were with him survived. Finally, the rain stopped and the water started to go down. Land started to appear and the ark came to rest on some mountains. Noah waited and then he opened the window of the ark. Noah sent out a dove, but the dove did not find anywhere to land. The waters still were covering the earth. Noah waited again, and then he sent out the dove. It came back with a fresh olive leaf in its mouth. Noah knew the dove had found dry ground. Noah waited again, then he sent out the dove. This time the dove did not come back. When the ground was dry, God told Noah to bring all the people and animals out of the ark. So Noah did. Then Noah built an altar and gave an offering to the Lord. God was pleased with Noah's offering, and he promised Noah that he would never again completely flood the earth. God told Noah and his family to spread out all over the earth and fill it with people. God gave Noah a special sign of the covenant he made with him. God placed a rainbow in the sky so that every time Noah and his family saw the rainbow, they would know God remembered the promise he made with all the living creatures on earth. So I don't know about you guys, but when it rains, and sometimes when I see a rainbow like Noah and his family, I'm reminded of the promises of God, that we have nothing to fear. God's word is true, and God's promises are true. Just like he promised Noah and his family that he would never again flood the earth, we know that we can survive any flood, any trial that is placed before us because we are loved and protected by God. And we know that the best is yet to come. Heaven is right around the corner. So I just wanna encourage you guys with this week, no matter what you're up against, what you've been facing, what is happening in the world, that we can take heart. And in 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 6, it reminds us to be truly glad, no matter what we have joy in our hearts. There is wonderful joy ahead, even though we may endure trials for a little while. So I hope that you are acting like a child of God in your home this week. You are loving others, helping others, 
being obedient to God's word, obeying your parents, and having an awesome week. I love you guys, and I pray that you are blessed this week, and I cannot wait to see you this Sunday for another online church service. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.